That YouTube wannabe warrior is an idiot. He is brilliant. He is a narcissistic buffoon. He is internet famous and appears to run a successful training school. He teaches in safe weapon handling and his tactics are unsound. So, you have attended one of his courses. Are you high? I would never pay money for tactical training run by non-veterans. If you want valid instruction on how to be victorious in combat, then serve in the military. If you have never been there, how do you know he is wrong? From watching his videos, part of me believes he is being deliberately provocative but I just can't stop. The more I watch, the madder I become. Why not try to find them hubris? Picture a battery on his shoulder. Because following his bad advice is going to get someone seriously injured or killed. Please don't tell me you are a fan of that misguided methodology. I am not a fan. His image, words and deeds has provided the liberal media with an unflattering stereotype of firearm owners that the public can fear. Due to his rants, stricter gun control measures seem reasonable to the masses. He has set back Second Amendment supporters decades. He dares you to say that to his face. No thank you. The odds of getting accidentally shot increases exponentially the closer one gets to him or his facility. Though why did you call him brilliant? Because he is a masterful promoter. He presents a clear and unwavering message that appeals to many people that will pay him for repeating it in person. But it is my duty to inform those people his message is wrong, foolish and dangerous. What's wrong with other shooters expressing contrary views to those held by you? Because my opinions on weapons are always correct. Only my fighting doctrine is to be followed. Anyone who disagrees is stupid. That sounds like most of his opinionated videos you claim to detest. Please just let it go. I can't. He keeps referring to rifles as guns.